How's it going everybody? Welcome back. Today, I'm bringing you guys a video just to help you guys choose the best VPN service for your needs, depending on what you're looking for. Now, there are several factors to consider when choosing a virtual private network or a VPN service. And here are some things to consider. But before I begin, if you guys are interested in any of these VPNs, I'll find links to pricing discounts as well as full reviews in the description down below. Of course, I chose these VPNs based on my tests and I've tested over a couple of dozen VPNs, about 30 VPNs, and I've narrowed it down to these three as the best overall. Of course, they all vary in budgets and features. So pick one over the other, depending on what you're looking for, your own preferences and budget, of course. So number one, security. Make sure the VPN uses strong encryption and has a good track record of protecting user privacy. And all three VPNs right here use the military grade 256 bit encryption. And they do have no logging policies that are also proven in the independent audit reports. More on that in the reviews below if you're interested. Uh, number two, speed. A VPN can slow down your internet connection. So it's important to choose one that offers fast speeds. In this case, all these VPNs are very fast. I mean, if you didn't know, a VPN will slow down your connection due to the time it takes to encrypt your traffic. So what you want to do in this case, well, if you want to maximize your speeds, just make sure you're using the best performing protocol. So that'll be the lightweight UDP protocol with ExpressVPN. That'll be the Nord Lynx protocol with Nord VPN. And finally, with Surfshark, that'll be the WireGuard protocol. If you're using these protocols, you'll be able to minimize the speed dips uh, as if you're not even using a VPN in the first place. They're very high performing protocols. Number three, server locations. Because the more server locations a VPN has, the more options you'll have for accessing content from different regions. So with ExpressVPN, for example, you've got over 3,000 servers in 94 countries. Uh, over 5,300 servers in 59 countries with NordVPN and over 3,200 servers in 100 countries with Surfshark. So as you can tell, they all kind of vary in terms of uh, servers and uh, country counts. So depending on where you're looking for, you can pick one over the other. All right, so number four. Price. VPNs can range in price, so consider your budget when choosing one. Keep in mind that a more expensive VPN doesn't necessarily mean it's better. Number five, a user-friendly application. Because a VPN's application should be easy to use and should work on all of your devices. Now, all these VPNs are pretty straightforward and easy to use. As you can tell, they all have their own different user interface. I mean, for me personally, I mean, this could be very obvious to you too, but ExpressVPN is the easiest to use, followed by Surfshark and then NordVPN. Now, NordVPN, um, while it's not complicated to use, it's just um, if we were to rank it in terms of complication, it would be the least user-friendly, but that doesn't mean it's not easy to use. It's incredibly easy to use. I mean, how intuitive is a map design where you can just zoom in and connect to the country? And you also have lists uh, to kind of go through the list here and, and pick whatever uh, server you want to choose. But with ExpressVPN, it's much more obvious right here. You have your selected location, uh, smart location, which is what ExpressVPN thinks is the best for you, recently used, and you can go to the locations and everything is categorized or sorted out by continent and you can search for whatever city you want here. You can also use the search function with NordVPN or with Surfshark, you can also use the search bar or just go down the list. But overall, they are all very easy to use and they're compatible with nearly every single smart device that you can think of. And finally, number six, customer support because in case you run into any issues it's important to choose a vpn with reliable customer support so all these vpns do have a 24 7 live chat support and they're super helpful and knowledgeable no matter what kind of problem you're having uh, they should be able to help you out after having been tested by yours truly for a really long time um, you know i've tested express uh, nord and surfsharks customer support and they're all incredibly friendly and very helpful now to find the best vpn for your needs you may want to do some research and compare different options. And it may also be helpful to check out some reviews, which is exactly why I've linked them down below. And if you guys are interested in them, you'll find them in the description. They'll teach you a little bit more about the privacy policy, speed, streaming, torrenting capabilities, as well as security and features. And if you're interested in just going straight to the links to pricing and discounts, you'll also find those in the description as well. Besides that, keep in mind, they're all covered by a 30 day money back guarantee. So in case you're not satisfied with any of these, you can just claim that refund 
granted you ask for it before the 30th day. Besides that, come below if you have any questions, I'll be happy to answer all of them. Like and subscribe if you'd like to support the channel and stay up to date with everything VPNs and cybersecurity. Thank you guys very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Have a wonderful day.